Hey guys, Paul James here with a really quick update for you uh, regarding a new service out called Google My Business. Now, as you know, I've been dealing a lot with Google Plus Local and before that was called Google Places and so on and so forth. And they do, they do a lot of changes all the time. So I just kind of want to show you what's going on now with, with Google Plus Local and um, how they've switched everything over uh, to Google My Business. So Google Plus Local still exists. They ju basically just merged everything together. So you're going to start to see if you don't already that your account's been merged over and it may look a little bit different. So for starters, if you're going to start a new listing, you know, like a, a new Google Places, you want to get in the seven pack, the new URL that you want to go to is going to be called google.com forward slash business. Okay. So that's a new URL to go to. Previously, I was having everyone go to google.com forward slash local forward slash ad, which no longer brings you there. Now it brings you to your pages. And alternatively, you could just, you know, click get your page. Um, but I prefer to do it this way. This is what I recommend you do. So if you're starting a new Google Plus local account, now called Google My Business, um, they've kind of just combined everything into one again. What I recommend you do is head over to google.com forward slash business, click get on Google. And real quick, I'm gonna open up the frequently asked questions too, because uh, we're gonna run through those real quick. But we're gonna hit get on Google and what you're going to see is basically the same thing we used to see when we went to that local slash ad URL previously. So, you know, you can still do the same old thing, you know, enter in the phone number here of your business or the address or whatever. And if you're creating a new listing, you know, you'll click this, enter in your listing details, you know, maybe, maybe it's Bob's Plumbing. Enter in the address. Enter in the city. We'll select the uh, state here. I'm in Wisconsin, so we'll just do that. Uh, business phone number, category, we'll do plumber. And okay, so this, this part's changed just a little bit, not really, but just a little bit. So if you click I deliver goods and services to my customers at their location, you know, there used to be that little box that would pop down. Now you just hit the submit button and you see the box on the next step. So here's where you can add in all your zip codes of areas you service. Or what I usually do is I just put, you know, within 20 mile radius or ask my customer how big of an area they service. So pretty straightforward. Um, you can check if you also serve customers at your business address. Hit continue. Uh, they're going to ask if you're authorized to manage this business. Check the box, hit continue. And now comes the postcard verification like we're used to seeing. So first they say I'm adding your business to Google+. Plus. They just create the page for you. So right here, mail me my code. Same thing we used to see. Not much has changed. Um, I'm just going to hit continue and verify later and kind of show you what everything looks like now. So I uh, will skip this tour. Basically everything is pretty much the same. I mean we still have all the same stuff here. Reviews are locked until we verify. Um, you know, we can still come in and edit our stuff. You know, everything's pretty much the same other than that. Um, so now everything is broken down into pages. So if I go back, I can actually see all my pages up here by clicking on this, uh, my little profile pic, and I can come to all pages. And it's going to show all my pages just like it used to. So bottom line is when you want to get on Google Plus Local or Google Places, what it used to be called, if you want to get in the seven pack, the new URL to do that is google.com forward slash business. I think this is a really great change that Google has done. Uh, I'm totally embracing this one. I think they're going in the right direction with this stuff. So uh, hopefully this, this update here will help you out and um, you know not add any confusion. Um, I just wanted to cover this, the frequently asked questions here. What's the difference between Google My Business, Google Places for Business, and Google Plus Pages Dashboard, right? Because they have all these different names. It's been crazy. They keep changing the names. So here it is. If you previously used Google Places for Business or Google Plus Pages Dashboard to manage your business information, your account has automatically been upgraded to Google My Business. So I think it's safe to say this is the direction they're going. Um, and basically, they just did this because Google My Business makes it even easier to update business information across Google Search, Maps, and Google Plus. So it's basically combining everything into one. So moving forward, I think we should just go ahead and start calling this Google My Business. That's the seven pack. And uh, you know, by seven pack, I just mean if we come in and type in dentist, this thing right here, okay? You wanna be in the seven pack, go to google.com forward slash business, Google My Business. 
All right, guys, I'm Paul James. I'm out. Uh, feel free to subscribe, like, comment, um, sign up to my email list. I'll leave a link below if you guys want to get more cool updates like this. And I appreciate you watching.